in this video, what we're going to be doing is setting the fire rate for our firearms. So what I mean by that is, for example, the STG-44 that we're working with now has a fire rate of roughly 500 to 600 rounds a minute. We are going to take that value, allow it to be blueprint, well, set in blueprint. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Then we're going to just do float fire rate. And let's go over here to our weapon full, go to the constructor. We're going to set fire rate equals, let's just give it a default value of 500. Because this is obviously going to be changing for each weapon. And now we need to convert that from 500 to something that would make sense to our timer. So our fire function here has a timer delay right here. We need to convert 500 to something that will work in the timer. So to do that, we're going to take fire rate. We're just going to do divided equals. Well, actually, now we're going to take fire rate equals 60 divided by fire rate. So for example, if I take this value of 500, we can take 60 divided by 500. That gives us a delay of 0.12. So 500 rounds a minute would be 0.12. So 550 for the strength barrier is 60 divided by 550. They give us a value of 0 0.10 blah, 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 blah. So we take our fire rate. We're going to plug it in. So here's our first fire function with the delay. Change the delay to fire rate. Let's find our other timers which should be in just the on rep right here, and change that. And I think that's all, so we should be able to go ahead and compile. Now we just gotta wait for it to compile. Alrighty, and let's launch the editor. After we are done with this, what I think I'm going to do is we're going to have to set up some sort of a delay or semi-auto to prevent people, one, from rapid firing, and two, from being able to spam faster than the gun itself. So that way, if you want a faster fire rate, you will choose full auto. So let's open our STG44 blueprint. Here we have our fire rate, so it's showing 0.15 right now. Let's look at it. And it's not actually 0.15. So we uh, go ahead and hit the undo, because it's showing what we did in our uh, begin play. So we have a fire rate of 500 right now. So we hold down it, fire. And it's good like that. Let's change it to 550. You can feel it has increased. So I'm going to actually just leave this at 500 at the lower end. And we now have a way to control our fire rate. So if I wanted to, I could, you know, duplicate this, another gun. All we would have to do is honestly just change the mesh. So for example, let's say this is the Mon Carbine, it's just a new mesh. Set all the animations, you know, for the M1 carbine firing, give it a fire rate of something slow, like 350. And we now pretty much have a brand new gun that, you know, just our entire weapon system's plug and play. I grabbed the wrong one, didn't I? Now we have a full auto on carbine. That is also playing the wrong animation, I think. I don't know. But anyways, we now have just an M1 carbine and that kind of stuff. So it's a very just easy and modular system so we can easily import new weapons and they're just plug and play. The only thing we don't have so far is a shotgun class, and that's obviously going to end up being done in the future. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when, because I'm still working on the animations and stuff like that. I haven't even really gotten started on it. I've only just rigged it. 
So we now have a delay for our fire rate for the uh, full auto. And up next, I think we're going to go ahead and add a delay for semi-auto possibly. So for example, here's full auto. Here's semi-auto with me clicking. It's the exact same. Well, if we had a gun, let's say this had a much slower fire rate of something like... <sighs> it's taking forever. So let's say this had a fire rate of something slow like 300. I can outshoot that with my finger. So here's 300. Here's my finger. You know, obviously we'd probably end up using just semi-auto in this case. So that's what we're going to be working on. And same thing, even in full auto, I can click and it'll still fire. So that's what we want to prevent. So I'm going to leave that back at 500, close it, and save it all. So that's what we're going to be working on in the next video. We're going to have to figure out a way to delay the firing well, between shots from semi-auto as well as doing the same thing in full auto. And we're not going to be working on the server just yet for this. We're going to be focusing more on the client side portion of this because obviously they'll be able to uh, cheat it if we just leave it on the client side, but that's not that's honestly not too big of a deal. In the future, we'll end up moving this over to the server side. So that way it will, uh, anything we do will be kind of cheat protected, so to speak. So we'll have a check on the server. So even if they do manage to fire, it's not going to actually send a, a true shot to it, if that makes sense. So as always, if you like my work and want to support me, a link to my Patreon will be in the description, as well as a link to my Discord server, where I will try to answer any questions you have. So, now that this is done, I will see you in the next one.